Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, How many times must a man toss a fair coin so that the probability of having at least one hand is more than 90%? Now we know that probability of x successes is equal to ncx into q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x where x is from 0 to n and q is equal to 1 minus p. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now, according to the given question, how many times must a man toss a fair coin so that the probability of having at least one hat is more than 90%? So, let the man tosses a fair coin n times. We know that the repeated tosses of a coin are Bernoulli trials. So, in each trial, we have the probability of getting a head that is p is equal to 1 over 2 and the probability of not getting a head, that is the probability of getting a tail, that is q is equal to 1 over 2. Now we have, according to our key idea, probability of x successes is equal to ncx into q raised to power n minus x into p raised to power x. So this is equal to ncx into 1 over 2 raised to power n minus x into 1 over 2 raised to power x which is again equal to ncx into 1 over 2 raised to power n. Now we are given that the probability of having at least one head is more than 90%. So, according to the given question, we have probability of getting at least one head is greater than 90%. That is probability of x greater than equal to 1 is greater than 90 over 100. Therefore, 1 minus probability of x equal to 0 is greater than 0 0.9 or 1 minus nc0 
into 1 over 2 raised to power n is greater than 0 0.9 or nc0 into 1 over 2 raised to power n is less than 1 minus 0 0.9 that is 1 over 2 raised to power n is less than 0 0.1 or 2 raised to power n is greater than 1 over 0 0.1 or 2 raised to power n is greater than 10. This implies n is greater than or equal to 4. Hence, the man must toss a fair coin four times. Hence, the answer for the above question is n is greater than or equal to 4. So, this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.